School is almost out, and if you want to keep your kids and yourself entertained with some cool activities, we've got just what you need. Here with some science experiments to keep you busy for the entire summer from Mad Science of Chicago, Jack Gallagher. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me back. Oh, yes, my that was fun when you were in the house. Out in an hour and 15 minutes ah, for the summer. Uh, yes, I think my son ended uh, yesterday. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. And they're already jonesing for electronics, and I do not want that the entire summer. I know. Well, science is a great way to keep them off their screens. It's also a great way to keep the learning going, mm -hmm. but also be having some fun. Yeah. Okay. Well. So, like, do we need to have a science background to do these? Not at all. This is all easy stuff. Actually, most of these experiments, you can even just have your kids do on their own. Oh, okay. Oh, this fun. requires very little supervision. Okay. Uh, and this is all stuff that you can find in your house. Okay, okay. great. All right, What's so what are we one? starting with? It? So our first experiment here, we have some acetic acid, which we'll have in our kitchen, labeled vinegar. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I was like, acid? <laughs> what are I'm not wanting my kids to play with the acid, but okay, yes. So always a fun time to teach your kids about the scientific terms for things. So we call it vinegar in our kitchen, but in the lab, we would call it acetic acid. Okay. okay. And our sodium bicarbonate, which we also have in our kitchen, and that it's is baking, baking soda. soda. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. powder or soda. Okay. Yes. Okay, so we put this into a so balloon. I'm putting that into a balloon. So we've got our vinegar, we have our baking soda. Now we know from our classic volcano experiments uh -huh. that vinegar and baking soda has a very energetic reaction. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you got your balloon fitted well over the mouth of your bottle. So okay. you can use a soda bottle, really anything that you can fit a balloon over. And what we're going to do is see that Ooh. baking oh, soda and it vinegar. Up the balloon. Yeah, we're creating carbon dioxide gas. Ah. So this is a great opportunity to talk about chemical reactions. We can see some classic signs of a chemical reaction. Here we have uh, all this f fizzy, bubbly stuff coming up, letting us know that we have a byproduct, that byproduct being that CO2 gas. Now, if you put a lot more of those two together, is it going to get a lot bigger? Because I can see my kids blowing something up. It will get bigger. You want to make sure that you don't uh, fill your liquid up too much because you're going to start to get the some liquid coming out. Volcano. Yeah, okay. you'll, start, okay. you'll have more of a volcano than a balloon. Got it. Okay. okay, good to know. Uh, but really fun, and then you know you can tie the balloons off, and because it's carbon dioxide gas, it's denser, it's more dense than the air around us, so it falls like a, a ball in slow motion. Oh. So it's a great way to fill up a balloon for a good game of keep it up. And I, I like it if you shake it up. If you shake it up, you're going to encourage that reaction even further. You're going to get more gas. Hey, look at that! Uh -oh. It just keeps going. Yeah. Uh oh. What? It's what? all that energy is it being going released. Up into, oh look, and now the balloon is getting heavy. So well, now we're heavier. getting a little bit of that, uh, probably some of that vinegar is going up into the balloon as well. Yeah, so then we can get oh, all that, yeah. Oh, but okay. CO2 gas is always going to be more dense than our air around us, and those okay, things are going yeah. to. Oh, that's cool. Turn that's really fun. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you kept them busy for five minutes. Yeah. yeah so. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and then, you know, you can do whatever you want with your carbon dioxide gas. Something fun to do with that light a candle, use the balloon. The carbon dioxide gas will snuff out the candle because you're depriving oh, it of right. oxygen. Oh, okay. yeah. that's So it's something to do with the gas once you've created it. Okay. But don't let your kids play with it by yourself. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> or you don't want to also be inhaling carbon dioxide gas. It's Good. not helium. You're, you, even helium is not super super healthy to inhale. Okay. Okay. You don't want to get that out of the balloon that way. All right, okay. well, we got some cereal over here. Now we have some cereal. Now I have a cereal here that's fortified, so it has a high iron content. Okay. Iron is a super important element to have in our bodies, and consequently, it's in much of our food, like cereal. Okay. Now iron is also a magnetic substance. Uh -oh. So oh, yeah. if you take your cereal, you put it into a bag, you can crush it up, and Kids are going to have fun breaking just stuff. breaking oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, kids are as destructive as mine. They'll, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they'll enjoy just breaking up the cereal. Now, you know, you can get as energetic with it as you want. It takes a few minutes to fully crush up your cereal. Okay. So I've got some crushed cereal here. And you want to spread that out on a tray. A tray. Something to keep it nice and clean. What did, which cereal, by the way, did you use? Um, Raisin Bran? Raisin this, no, this is a generic, uh, like, Sweet cereal, brand. milk, Mercury is like a health food yeah, cereal. No, okay. So those are ten, gonna tend to have more of that iron content. Okay. You can always check uh, the nutritional value, look at the serving size and the milligrams of iron okay. per cup yeah. or whatever. Okay. So this one was about 18 milligrams of iron per Good cup, which okay. is pretty high. Okay. So now we've got our cereal, it's all broken up. I have my very powerful neodymium magnet here. But any typical magnet will work. I'm just going to wave oh, that over that. my cool cereal here. How cool is that? And we're oh, seeing. Wow. Wait, wait, wow. wait. What are you pulling you touching that? Wait, wait, wait. So these. So we're seeing some of the cereal still getting stuck because it hasn't been fully broken up. But you're pulling the iron. iron out of the cereal. So the little black chunks there oh, is actually. Amazing. Iron. That makes me nervous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's actually something we require to yes. have in our body. It's very healthy. Uh, wow. we, you know, as long as you're eating the proper amount. And once you've got it in a tray, 
you can manipulate it. Oh, cool. Look and at that. what we see is those spikes coming off the top. We're actually seeing the magnetic field being generated by our magnet. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is so cool. Now, once you have your iron filings, if you can separate them completely from your cereal, you can put them in a more enclosed container so that you can play around oh. and really see those. Look at that. Lines. That's like those faces you used to get when you were kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. where you they, drag the iron. They work on the same principles. Now, if you can get yourself some iron really well separated, okay, okay, you could add a little bit of vegetable oil. Uh, vegetable oil or grapeseed oil works well. Uh, so once you've got the oil mixed in, you'll start to see that our iron is starting to become kind of incorporated into that oil. Oh my goodness. So now oil and water stay separate. So if you take that oil, which is now a ferro fluid or a magnetic fluid, okay. and put it into a liquid that. container, Look at that. you can get a really Ooh. cool view of those magnetic lines. That is cool. Yeah, and this will last for a long time. Now, interesting thing about ferro fluid, it was actually invented by NASA and it's used for lots of important things today. It's used to create uh, airtight seals and watertight seals. Uh, it's used to help uh, stealth aircraft avoid detection. Look at that. that uh, and is And it's used really up cool. on the International Space Station. That is oh, so yeah. cool. Dr. Jekyll, that is so I love cool. That. We ran out of time, but I got to come back. No we problem, some more experiments. We've got plenty more experiments to come back and show you. Oh, okay. we'll take that. All right, Mad Science of Chicago. There's a telephone number and a website social media handles as well for where you need to get in touch with them. That Thank was you. so fun. Thank you so much.